We certainly saw lots of lightning and lots of rain with some afternoon storms that moved through. Let's get to Storm Team Chief Meteorologist Ashley Gann with the very latest on that system as it moves out now. Ashley? Yeah, now it's moving into the southernmost portion of our viewing area in places like Grandview, where we're looking live from our Storm Team Tower Cam there on Highway 280 near Inverness in Birmingham. They were hit hard by some afternoon thunderstorms, but now things beginning to quiet down. You can still almost see that sheen on the roadways there. This is Highway 280 as we look from the hospital there and looking up the road is the summit. So things are really beginning to quiet. That's good news from Grandview to Gadsden. Gadsden, you, all, you saw plenty of rain even within the last hour. And now look at this. Plenty of sunshine. What a difference just a few moments in time could really make with these summertime storms. 73 is our current temperature now in Gadsden. Heaviest rainfall now pushing out of our viewing area, moving into portions of the Atlanta metro. And now we're just tracking some heavier rainfall anywhere from Jacksonville down to Aniston over towards Heflin and Fruithurst, but not seeing a lot of lightning, not hearing any more thunder in East Alabama. Still going to be a little slippery on I-20 anywhere from that Oxford Aniston exit all the way through that Georgia state line. As we move down south towards southern part of Talladega County, we are tracking a few thunderstorms again, kind of moving towards Weaguffka there in Coosa County. Up towards Childersburg, still some light rain remains along portions of Highway 280. So anywhere just to the east of Chelsea down towards Childersburg into Sylacauga, still dealing with some wet mess, but not necessarily the travel inconveniences with that intense rainfall that we had within the last hour. Things beginning to clear up towards Vincent, Lake Purdy. The rain is slowly sh shifting to the south there. And look at this. The sunshine is out in Hamilton, but our sky cam catching that southern view of the clouds there. Well, that's what remains of some light rain from Double Springs and now a couple of showers down towards Carbon Hill. All right, temperatures, what a range, and it all depends on who saw the wet weather today. Hamilton's still holding in the lower 90s, mid to upper 80s in West Alabama, but look at these 70 degree readings in Ashland dropped to 67 due in part to that rainfall that moved through. So here's what things feel like. Still feels close to 100 in Hamilton. Feels more like 98 in Moundville. Heat advisories will be in place for at least the next 30 minutes. 7 p.m. they should expire. And then it looks like tomorrow, no heat advisories in place, but we're tracking another batch of wet weather. So that weather aware will be in place for your Thursday. Notice the quiet start to our Thursday morning. Noontime temps already close to 90 tomorrow. Heat and humidity will be back, but I also want you to watch closely through the latter part of the afternoon. Notice as we put time in motion by 6 p.m. Thursday, that rain begins moving into northwest Alabama from Decatur over towards Hamilton. Check out the heat, though, by 5 o'clock tomorrow, mid 90s for our highs. By 7 o'clock, that storm will be racing through central Alabama from Coleman down to Alabaster, all the way back towards Moundville, and then continuing through 8 o'clock in east Alabama. So we will see another round of active weather tomorrow again. That's why we are issuing that weather aware. We want you to stay aware of these quickly changing weather patterns and then I will keep a chance of rain in the forecast all the way through your weekend. And that's a look at your storm team seven day forecast.